Hi, my name's Simon Nixon. I've been a car valet for 13 years and today we're going to be cleaning an engine. Uh, most people worry about doing this job, but uh, as long as you take certain precautions, then there shouldn't be any problems with it. The first thing we need to be doing is protecting the electrics so that no moisture or water gets into them. The areas to pay most attention to, um, in particular, are any alarm systems, electrical connections, uh, wiring off the battery, etc. The cleaning product we're going to be using today is from the Autoglim company, a company that's been around for 40 years. They do some fantastic products and they're very effective. Uh, this particular cleaner is engine and machine cleaner. It's a water-based cleaner, so it's environmentally friendly and it's not going to harm any of the plastics or metals or a uh, piece of equipment under the bonnet. Make sure the engine is, is reasonably cool. As long as it's not hot, but just slightly warm, that's fine. It needs to be warm, really, for the cleaner to actually do its job properly. It actually works better with a warm engine. Just make sure it's not hot for obvious safety reasons, because you could burn yourself. For protecting the electrical parts, the ideal material is either a plastic food bag or polythene food bag, uh, perhaps some cling film, or for you guys in the States, saran wrap. Along with the cleaner, you're going to need a little stiff brush for getting into awkward places and agitating any uh, serious dirt or ground in dirt. Uh, one of the Auto Glim wheel brushes is ideal for this. Now, once you've protected all the electronic components and connections, you can start spraying the cleaner all around the engine. Make sure you get into all the awkward corners. You don't have to saturate the engine, but a real good coating should do. Once the engine's been thoroughly sprayed with the cleaner, leave it to dwell for one or two minutes to soften any dirt and grease. You may find there are some areas that will need a little bit more spray, so just get the cleaner and give it another spray, let it soak in and give it a bit more agitation. And once you're happy that all the cleaner's worked and you've got into all the corners and everything's nice and loose, you can then rinse the engine. When you're ready to rinse the engine, have your pressure washer or hose ready. If you have a pressure washer that you can't adjust the pressure on, you will need to stand back from the engine a little bit so it doesn't get too much pressure, whereby it could force the water into the electronic components. If you have a hose, that's fine. Um, literally just run it over the engine, rinse off all the residual cleaner and the dirt. Once you've rinsed the engine thoroughly, get an old drying towel or an old chamois, give it a dry off, any bits you can't reach just leave to air dry. Once your engine's thoroughly dry, you can give it a spray with some rubber and vinyl care. Once you've done this, take a soft cloth and just remove the excess. This will leave a nice sheen and a nice finish to your engine. Once this is complete, don't forget to remove all the protection you've put over the electrical connections, such as freezer bags, saran wrap, etc. Job done.